Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to Skull the Hero Slayer, where today we are going to do the same as we have been doing and try and find ourselves upgraded versions of rare skulls. And you're giving me the ghoul immediately. You know what? Fine. Fine. I will give it a go. What do you give me? Inner Malice. I guess I can work with that. Alright, Mr. Ghoul. First up, what's your other ability? Deadly Crusher. Jumps forward and body slams. Oh. Oh, yeah. With enough meat, anything is possible. I am a ghoul. Hello there. I am hungry for tree flesh. Tree flesh, tree flesh. Gotta get your tree flesh. Trainee's necklace. Wow, you are really giving me all of the concentration items as of late, aren't you? I am huge, you will die. Water skull. Oh, that's magic. We're physical. You know, the ghoul with some attack speed actually seems to hit pretty damn hard. Alright, so... What do we have available to us? A Coralon sword, that'll do just fine! Alright then, hero! I am fuck! Die, hero! I will consume your flesh. Alchemist. No, but I'll get take you for the bones. Just so we get bigger, ghoul. Ghoul. I must consume flesh. You gotta love how bit how much of a big chunky boy the ghoul is. Chunky boy. I am chunky boy. The problem is the ghoul is literally too much of a target. That is pretty much the downside to the ghoul. But We must figure out, see, and figure out <laughs> what the ghoul looks like in his legendary form. And in order to do that, we just need to gather a whole hell of a bunch of skulls. I think the best use for the hook might be to... I'm going to grab you just because I like you. And I want to see what you do. Plus, you are mostly physical, too. So, yeah. Okay, Gargoyle. That looks very strange compared to most other skulls. I mean, at least a lot of the other skulls in some way look like a skull. I can't really same about, say the same about the... So, question. Are you a... You're balanced? Really? Your passive is you gain bonus attack speed in the air, and yet you're a balance skull. Goodbye, Yjrsil. Nice having you here. But you lose. Goodbye. You give me a quintessence for the griffin. Griffin's not the best, but I guess it's something. I demand flesh lots of flesh I love how I'm on no health already and we're at the very look I've even just consumed my goddamn uh, I'm so fucked. I hate the ghoul. 
It is such a bloody... Warrior's pauldrons. Oh, yes, please. I am going to need those desperately. As I am the health. Rejuvenating roots. You know what? I just used that, but I'm going to grab it again. Because I'm clearly going to need it. If I want any hope of success today. The gargoyle seems to have a decent crit chance. I think is another thing to note. But I must admit, there is something quite entertaining about basically being Attack on Titan. The fact I feel I actually have to use you now, Halfling Girl, that is what's sad. Yeah, the Gargoyle just annihilated those guys effortlessly. Compared to the, you know, what am I call it that did crap all. Although I need to get better using use of the, what am I call it. There, it cost me like all my health, but you guys have better give me a decent reward for this. Like a bunch of bones, please. No, only petty, petty gold. Why do I bother? There we go. One of the few times the phoenix, is, the phoenix comes into play. And you give me another source of spring, which means more healing. Oh, goody for me. Oh, and a Jagamon Thorn already. That was, that's very quick time for half that. Um, I'm take that without a doubt. I'm playing, I'm using a gargoyle. And it's kind of invaluable on a gargoyle. If I can properly learn how to fly properly. As the gargoyle. I would more than likely have a... Easier way of playing. You know? Warrior. Don't need a warrior. Does the priest's vest increase it to have the ability to increase attack speed? I didn't know that. Oh? Well, I was hoping for a legendary, but that's pretty good none the same. Only need 40 more bones. So if I could find myself a, you know, a what am I call it? If I just do this, how many would die? Absolutely none, because I'm on the wrong level. <laughs> and there goes annihilates everything. The ghoul's good at AoE. It's not good against bosses. Well, hello there. Get out. Tell us what you want. Increase max HP. I definitely need that. That is not up for debate. I definitely need that. A berserker? Tempting. Very tempting. But damn, I'm only one but What am I call it off now? I just have to somehow survive the third grouping of... The third lot of heroes, which I should be able to do, because I still have a respawn. And I'd have a gargoyle to deal with the ones that like to fly as well, and are fast. Don't you worry, sisters. I'm just gonna be up here, okay? You know what? I just realized that probably doesn't help against you girls, does it? Ironically, being in the air is harming me. Well, guess I'm using my respawn. So much for still having a respawn. I 
think it would be easier to handle the girls with the gargoyle, but apparently not. Because apparently when, you're in, when you spend half your time in the air, when you deal with the void girl, and she does that blade blasting thing, you can't jump again. The gargoyle really feels he should be able to jump easier than he does. Okay. Growing volition. The fact I don't need to sell that because I'm out of item space is what's the sad bit. Whenever I take a hit, deal explosive damage. I probably need that. What else might you have? You know what? Reek of Madness works. For, t for the gargoyle, for the for the ghoul, you know, Rake of M the gargoyle is the first one I've ever noticed a real improvement from the Rake of Madness being a thing. Oh my God, I'm too big to fit through the gar the gap. I'm too chunky. Why am I too chunky? Alright, well, all I have to do... It's nice being a chunky boy. It's really nice being a chunky boy. Okay, chunky boy. I'm not actually sure if you'll be more or less useful in this scenario. Alright! I think you'll find I am the winner! Yes! So... So... Master Fighter. You know what? I'll take that. Take that for the bosses. At the very least, it's better than the concentration necklace. Right. Arachne! We've waited long enough! Show me the legendary ghoul! What does it become? Huh. Okay. I'm now a ghoul! Can I eat this? Can I eat this? Can I eat this? This skull always carries the hook throw skill. When enemies are defeated, there is a chunk of chance a chunk of flesh will drop. When chunks of flesh are accumulated, increases its body increases in size for 10 seconds, amplifying physical attack. Dashes are considered attacks, okay? Throws its hook and pulls enemies towards it. Affected enemies are swallowed, dealing physical damage. When the hook hits a wall, it pulls itself forward, dealing damage to enemies in its path. For each enemy killed by the swallowing attack, increases attack speed by 10 seconds for five, by 10% for five seconds. Nice. Leaps forward in crushing enemies, and cr crushing and swallowing enemies. For each enemy killed by the swallowing attack, increases crit rate. Okay. Alright, I'll play. I'll play along. Let's see how this works then. You know what? In an environment where there are a billion enemies, the ghoul does kind of obliterate things. I cannot deny that. The issue is he's very reliant on the... He's very reliant on AoE, da on basically there being lots of things to murder. If there isn't lots of things to murder... He kind of sucks. Can I not get so much AoE damage right now? You know what would really just make the ghoul... Okay. The fact of his... His physical size didn't increase with everything, you know? Coward's cape, increased dashing distance. Nah. Have a bit in sword. Sure. What am I going to get rid of for that? Probably the Master Fighter. Master Fighter isn't the best. Y 
You should not be able to just permanently charge through me, taking off a hundred damage by yourself. That seems a little bullcrap. Alright then, this boss is a boss the ghoul might be able to work with because of the fact it summons minions. Then I forget it's got giant massive AoE attacks. Flesh, provide me. Flesh. Yeah, I don't see Mr. Ghoul being able to kill this thing. The ghoul is just too slow. Yeah, that's pretty apt. That seems pretty fitting. The ghoul dies from being eaten. Okay. Alright, I'll give it- I'll give the irony to you, game. Well, we've seen the ghoul now, so you don't need to provide me a ghoul again. However, I would really like to see the gargoyle properly. Now. There we go, one gargoyle. Thank you. I'll just destroy the Monkey King, because of course. Now, the thing we want for the Gargoyle is Saw. Thank you, you already know. So, what does the Eye of the Gargoyle do? Oh yeah, that's the laser beam. It feels kind of bad, but I don't know what it's like when it levels up, so... I'm also an idiot, apparently, because that kind of just decimated crap. Oh my god, that laser beam can actually do so much. I like the gar- I like the initial stages I've seen from the gargoyle. And I don't disagree that, that that laser beam is actually pretty damn awesome, and I might have m un misunderstood what its full capabilities were. But the gargoyle definitely feels like it needs attack speed. Didn't get anywhere near enough in the... What am I call it, though? I'll take you, just because I do actually have a Coralon item, too, to benefit from. Also, I want to see what happens if I can stack enough piercing wind, too. You are literally probably the worst target possible for me, Mr. Mr. You, because of the fact I fly. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for that, but I'm definitely going to destroy it because, well, we want to see the legendary gargoyle, or at the very least, the, 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 the movement of the gargoyle is so erratic, isn't it? So what am I now? A bronze gargoyle. A gargoyle of the Demon King Castle that was neglected for a long time and reborn as a bronze gargoyle. Based on duration of being a airborne, the airborne amplifies magic attack. How long for? A few seconds. Petrify. Okay, let's try Eyes of the Gargoyle again. That looks cool. Petrify. Slams the ground in in the form of an invulnerable state, dealing physical damage. The statue can be sustained for two more seconds after landing. Deactivating statue form deals... Huh. If I get some cooldown resistance, I could potentially become invincible. I'm sorry, do I do magic damage as well in the air? No! My physical attacks now do magic damage. Oh! So I start off as physical and become magic. Well, I wish I had known that. So not only do I do m have a faster attack speed in the air, I also do more damage in the air. Okay. If that's the case, yes, I always get that, no matter what. I mean, if that's the case, I don't really need physical damage then, do I? Yeah, I can understand why that laser beam might be really, really, re- I need a good magic damage dealing then thing to com combo with the 
The gargoyle then, don't I? Like, a reaper, maybe. If I see a reaper, I might not actually just break it down. I'd probably actually try to com combo it. The thing is, is that we still need more saw. I don't remember what items give saw. It's not really something I'd normally try for. Oh my god, this petrify is actually kind of stupid. Because thanks to the petrif- What is this cooldown on the petrify? Ten seconds. I don't think it is. Do I have sorcery? I'll take a lunar ring, thank you. That's actually very nice. Right, let us get more bones. Well... What do we have here? We have you! Well, there's no reason not to release you. You can just give me a free item. Whether it's useful or not is another matter, but... I mean, that's not exactly useful, but... Fine! Fine! If you're gonna be so kind as to actually listen to me, I guess I'll do it. Oh, yeah. I like this invulnerability of the gargoyle. It's amazing. Could really use some bonus magic damage, though. I'll take those, though. Oh, but that's magic damage. Pl oh, this is saw. Yes, that wins. Sorry. Sorry, Berserker Gauntlet, but the entire gimmick behind being the gargoyle is that we get saw. So... You know, if the heroes could drop me another legendary, I would actually be quite- I would be quite happy with that. Hey, Miss Mage! You're dead already! I didn't even begin, basically. Jesus hell. Oh my god, Saw with... The gargoyle with saw is stupid. Oh my god, I need more saw. That gives adapta endurance adaptation. Nope. Oh my god, can I please get 25 bones? I want to see what this turns into. This has already become what, what probably, possibly one of my favorites. Although I think I'm also very lucky for getting pretty much the correct... What am I call it too? Abilities to go alongside it. Come on, just 14 bones. Ooh, legendary item. Hope Slasher. I mean, well, why the Christ not, I suppose? You're probably more important, but what do I replace you for? Probably you, because you don't actually give me any. You give chase and piercing winds. What are the different abilities here? Madness and weakness. Chase. Distance based on target and shoot it piercing winds. I'm not... Piercing winds is physical damage and I am not physical. Despite what that may look like. Do either of these give saw? No, but you give sorcery. And that would be very useful, I feel. You know what, I'll take you and get rid of the hidden dagger. I'll re-roll just because why not. Fairy tale Volcano, Tactics Weakness, Courage and Brawl. Nope, don't care about any of that. I do care about another skull though. Yeah, I have really good abilities as this character. Ooh, the Paladin, the Dark Paladin. That is an attack speed based character. But no, it's good. We don't need any... With that, I've now completed all my need for bones. My god, you are going to decimate so many different types of characters, aren't you, Mr. Gargoyle? But don't you worry. We now have the two girls to deal with. And the best part about the two girls? You have an invin invincibility thing we can, we can abuse as well. And I'm really planning to abuse it. Bring it on. Hi! If you're gonna do that, I am just going to... 
Aww. Well, there goes my potential doing it without taking damage, but... Look, you're almost dead, and I'd rather try and kill your sister again before I leave. Yeah, just kill that sister, and then this sister's on no health. Wow, that has got to be the best way I've ever done this before. Goodbye. God, I love this invulnerability move. It's amazing. I win. You lose, Mr. Yu. And I get to go see what a legendary gargoyle looks like. Oh, what fun this will be. Proof of fellowship. Nah, not magic damage. Swapping, and I'm not really swapping because I don't need to because... Well, I suppose both of these forms have invulnerability attached to... What's actually my swap for this? When swapping, falls on the ground in the form of invulnerable statue dealing physical damage. Statue can be maintained for one more second. Additionally, summons two statues for... Hmm. Okay. Well, let's upgrade this gargoyle and see what kind of mayhem it becomes. Show me the true legendary gargoyle of... Am I golden gargoyle now? Golden gargoyle that shows off its splendor on the throne of the demon king. Oh, I amplify my da my damage up to 100% now. What the abilities do? Shoots out beams from the gargoyle's arm, inflicting magic and inflicting slow. The skill lasts longer when the button is held down. Maintains altitude while shooting the beam. Ooh. Maintains altitude for two seconds in an invulnerable statue form. Upon act deactivating... Okay. Okay, cool. So... The fact it maintains its altitude now means it benefits from the... The what am I call it? Fact I get... I really don't know whether to build you as a right clicker or a caster because you're really proving to be kind of both. When swapping, increases magic damage. Okay, you know what? I'll take that, given the two, the two characters I have. I'm sorry, is this a banshee? And a quintess and an ancient incense burner. In the same room. Hold on. Hold on. How much do you cost together? About 3,400. 3, and I have to break an item to get you. Meaning, I get my 3,400. Get rid of the Hope Slasher, pick up you, pick up you, and now I am going to go have the most fun I've ever had in this game, okay? <laughs> ah, so, so sweet melody. I love that goddamn cello so much. May we ha- may we hear it again? Hmm. Oh, I'm now facing the champions. Hello, champions! I've had an upgrade. Oh, and you've decided to make me fight this thing. And you die, Miss Archer. Good luck, goodbye, and you die. Right, what do I need? I need money, probably. Just because I'm a cocky bastard. Yeah, you should not be able to hit me multiple times with that attack. You really shouldn't. I really like the gargoyle. I just feel I'm very out of practice right now. I actually have a lot of crit chance right now. Maybe I should go for one of these crit bonuses. Actually, what I need to do is start swapping them out. Considering I've got that plus 60 cent. Oh wow, that does summon multiple things. God damn, I hate this trap. I fucking hate this trap, this room. Just what the fuck is it? You just can't get out of it properly. 
What do you give me? A spirit? Nah, I'm not going spirits today. I'm not going spirits. Let's see. I need health and you give sorcery and spring. I will take you for something. I don't know what. You give sore. I can't get rid of you. You also give magic. Alright, get rid of the dagger. Pick up that. Can I get anything else? No. Okay. I need the health more. If I'm not in the air, my attack speed sucks. My laser beam keeps interrupting itself for some reason, and I don't know why. Yeah, just like that. That seems very strange. Oh, you guys are not worth it. Especially not right before the boss. Jesus. Okay. Hello, Chimera. I'm not quite sure how that was doing literally no damage to you at that point. Okay, game, you can have a laugh there. Miss Banshee, if you would, could, please. There we go. Glorious. Mr. Big Annoying Bastard is dead. What does he give me? Weapon Master. Don't want a Weapon Master. Okay. We are very hurt and in a lot of pain, but that boss was probably harder for us than the, than what I'm gonna call it is going to be, considering we can fly. I also don't know how I'm doing so little damage too. So the laser beam works against, you know, regular enemies, but... Damn, I was hoping I could actually go over the top then. Halfling girl, for the love of God, please give me something really, really tasty right now. That looks very tasty. What is this? 60% HP, flat little halfling girl. You are my favorite person to rescue. Right. What are my options here? And do any of them give saw? Because I currently only have three saw. And how much does saw go up to? A hundred and... I just need... One more saw, and my bonus for saw doubles. So, nope, nothing there. Hmm. I don't remember the last thing I picked up. But fine. I'll give you the opportunity to prove yourself useful. What do you offer me? Is it another vampire fang? It is another vampire fang. What could I even give up for a Vampire Fang at this point? You give Saw, so I can't do that. I'm not giving up anything. I just need to learn to swap more. Ooh, and now we face a boss. You give me this, which is kind of bad for me, because it's not Saw. What other items actually have Saw? I have to want... Oh, for God's sake. Really? I'm not sure if you're a good thing or a bad thing. Goodbye! Bloody thiefy prick. Really hate that guy. Successful quintessence attacks increase magic da damage by 100%. I'm not sure if I count as using quintessence attacks. 
won't get rid of it this time. Hey, Arachne, I'm loving this gargoyle. Thank you very much for it. I'm sorry, you were targeting the other way and you... I'd also like to call a little bit of hooey right here, because that guy shouldn't even be... have spawned yet, let alone... Okay. Oh, thanks, game! You glit, you kill me via glitchy bullcrap. Because that guy shouldn't be here yet! <laughs> I'm sorry, how did I just get a bunch of... What am I call it? The guy shouldn't be able to spawn if I don't have access to his room. That's... It's pretty damn awesome. What am I going to replace it for? I feel it has to be the Carl on staff. Would you go First up, you had not prepared an attack. I believe the game's getting a little buggy on me right now because it's prepare getting characters to prepare attacks without attacking without preparing attacks. In addition, where else can I find Saul? I only need one. Just one game, I only need one. So there's one thing I appreciate, it's actually the attack range of my laser beam. It actually spreads pretty damn far. Come on, keep attacking. Or don't. I'm fine with you lasering yourself, launching yourself off the cliff. In fact, that was kind of my intention. Now, if you excuse me... Oh, you appeared a little late, didn't you? There we go. Glorious. We move here, and we've got all this to deal with. Like I said, I need to swap more to be able to get benefit from the most amount of things, because swapping is what gets me all my abilities. There we go. Go die. Go be a corpse and I hate you. Nope. Alright then. It's time for us to near the end of our journey as we begin our fight against the saint. Hello, Mr. Saint. I think you're almost as grandeur as I am. Except the difference is, I am made of solid gold. You are not.
Goodbye, Saint Joan. The Reaper has come for your soul once again. I just realized I have so little health. God bloody hell! Those things do not attack those that fast normally. But you know what? We found the legendary gargoyle, and it's fun. Hard to use, but very fun. And I probably wouldn't mind trying it again. But that's a matter of getting lucky about it, as all this game always is. Well, everyone, I'm all out of time for today's episode, so it looks like what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today. I've been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.